now that we got that, uh, let's work on the, first of all, let's work on the color of our vines material. So um, select one curve and go add new and call it vine. And then select the other one and select the material vine so that we'll be able to change them both. So when you change one vine, the color will also change down the other. Uh, add a dark green. Um, bring reflection down, specularity up, harden this up. Actually, bring reflection back up. Specularity, uh, hardness down. Whoa, a little too big rendered. Let's render it 50%. Okay. Um, let's bring specularity down a little bit more. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the curves are really low resolution. Uh, you'll change that by going to the default resolution and bringing that up. Um, the render is not, or the, I mean, I'll bring that up obviously when I go to render, but the low resolution plays back much faster um, in, in 3D view, so I'm just going to keep that at a low resolution right now. Okay, so we got that. Now let's um, add another object to adjust the curve, or the vines. So, right, I guess you could put it next to your curves, uh, or your circles. You can add, you need to add a uh, curve, Bezier um, curve go to edit mode and hit a V, make sure they're all selected, See that? Um, make sure they're all, all, both of these points are selected, and hit V and that will flatten it, then hit E to extrude, select Z to extrude along the Z axis and then hit 2, <coughs> and that will move it up to blender units so that both sides are of equal length. So now <coughs> select the corner point hit shift H and select add new empty excuse me <coughs> okay so I'm right there okay add new empty now once you get out of the edit mode you can see that you can move that around and uh, it will also move that point okay so with this okay so now uh, select the now uh, angle curve angle curve and give it the name taper and select your curve over here, one either curve, and in the taper, enter taper. And again, the name of my taper object doesn't matter. Uh, it's just easier to remember. So you'll see all your curves disappear, don't worry. Then select the other curve and also enter taper. If I had done the whole process, then duplicated the vines, that would have been better. But you know, just one extra step, not much not not not, not that big of a deal. Okay, so you're wondering where your Oh, rats. Okay, first of all, my curves are in the wrong position, so I need to rotate them around, because for some reason they're starting at the opposite side, which is actually where they're supposed to start, so, or not, anyway. Okay, so, just make sure you, okay, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, let me go through my camera animation, that will be okay. Um, I just need my curve to go through the ceiling. Oops. Let's get a side view. Select the other curve. Edit mode, go like that. Okay, there we go. So now, go over here to your little um, empty, and as you move that, the vine will grow. Pretty cool, huh? Now, um, basically, um, once you reach, once your empty or your uh, your your um, curve is perfectly angled, that is the absolute most tapering. Or that that's your your curve is at the end of its taper, I guess. So right now, your your curve is tapered at the end. Uh, if you go any further, the end will open up, so it won't be tapered anymore. Just want to let you know that. So basically, this whole time your 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 curve is tapered until 
it goes pia past the angle and then it opens up at the end but what we'll do is we'll start off with it with with no growth at all then we'll go uh, eye lock rotation scale we'll go to the end of the animation and we'll bring it up right there now um, because my vine my vines and outside the roof I can have them keep growing as the animation ends or is my camera slowly moves forward so I'll just move that past like that on my rotation scale now right now my animation needs to start sooner so I'll move that past Whoa. My camera's going a little too fast still. Oops. Slip my. Oops. Okay, there you go. Now I need my uh, I want my more of my curve above water, so um, move that up. Okay. So there we go. There you have it. That's basically how you um, do it in Blender. Again, this is a quick tutorial. I would obviously spend a lot more time perfecting it. But um, you know, for those of you wondering how to do it in Blender, you have your answer now. Let me render a quick image. And you, you know, you need to tweak with your settings and all that. But so, I mean, you know. I, I tweak my settings more, and as far as the resolution, let me show you. Um, we'll set it to 40, and you can see immediately the the curve is much smoother. And actually, I just thought of something. I want my vines to be thicker, so I'm going to select those and scale them up. Okay, that looks better. Nice thick vines. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess that pretty much completes the tutorial. So um, you may be wondering, though. Uh, you know, Andrew also showed you how to bring it into After Effects. Um, to do depth of field. Um, um, I'm thinking of also doing a tutorial on that to show you how to use the ZMAT data from Blender. Um, that'll be a tutorial for another day though So if you want to know how to do that just subscribe to my YouTube channel and once I come out with that tutorial You know you'll be notified. I'm not going to promise when that tutorial will be out, but um, I'll certainly try to do one on, on, on doing that in After Effects and for those of you without After Effects, I'll see about doing one uh, One on doing that if the feel for blender internally um so anyway, if you if you want to be notified of those future video potential videos, possible possible tutorials, just subscribe to my channel, and you'll be notified when they come out. But anyway, um, hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hope you learned a lot, and will be able to implement this in your own work. And remember, you know, even though it's done in 3D Studio Max, that doesn't mean you can't do it in other programs. So a lot of these principles are universal. It's just that you may have to do it a little differently. So, anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, have fun blending. Bye bye.